Watson's ahead of Kirk Terrell. Watson is broken up. It doesn't really matter where you play at. Play is great for D2 guys. Show other D2 guys like, look, it does not matter. You can still make it. Being a D2 guy is a big chip on your shoulder. It's just not for yourself, it's for everybody. Two, two, three! One, two, three! Two. I feel like now when I work out, I'm thinking about the guys that are in the combine, the way I should be at. I'm working myself to show everyone that I should belong there. Me not getting invited to the combine it drives me a lot. I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, it's a blessing in disguise. His mindset is going to have to be a mindset of, I am who I am. I know who I am. I've been very well coached. I've had some success. And now I want to get myself in peak physical condition so I can show that I'm fast enough, I'm big enough, strong enough, that I'm the type of person that you want in your locker room. And the guy's going to be a credit to anyone's organization. It is very grueling physically and mentally to come in day after day. It's 10 weeks of training twice a day. We go five days a week. It takes a lot on the bodies. I don't think people give him enough credit because he went to a D2 school. So he's kind of getting overlooked and that's something we can use to our advantage, kind of be that sleeper in the draft. And when he goes, they're going to they're gonna realize what they were missing out on. And then a lot of people said, oh yeah, well he's from D2. I don't think that would have mattered. I mean, Terrell is physically and mentally gifted and his mindset, his attitude for training is there and he responds incredibly well to training. There have not been a time that I've not been sore. Weekends go by so fast because the workouts are really hard and really intense. And here at STARS, learning different things about my body and about how the NFL is, I feel like I'm a lot more prepared. At the NFLPA game, they kind of highlighted him for a second. They were talking about him. I won the NFLPA MVP of the game. And it was fun competing against guys that people say they're at a higher level than I am. People was asking me, was the level harder? And I would say no. I would say football, football. No matter if you're playing in the street or you're playing on grass. I think there's so much that's special to the trail. He is an extraordinary human being. He's got intangibles, and he's got intangibles. When we do a workout here, I think people will be surprised at how fast he runs. I won't be. <laughs> I see the speed he has. I see the strength he has. To see his resilience, he's been a great asset, not only performing on the football field, but setting a standard by the way he lives and the way he works. I think he'll make it. My pro day, I'm going to show the world that it doesn't matter what school you come from. It doesn't matter a small, big school. If you dominate your level of play, you should be able to play in the NFL. It does not intimidate me seeing NFL teams here at all. I mean, I've been seeing them all season during football games or during practices. They're here all the time. It's another day to impress. Not being invited to the combine had to have provided some motivation for him today. Physically, he's in the best shape of his life. I know his best football is ahead of him. 236 to see the strength levels. You're seeing a young man who is primed and ready to be a great service to some football team out there. Not part of the combine, but then in a way it helps you. It's like, okay, now I can just sit and watch what people are doing on TV, knowing that I have to beat them now. Like whatever they did, I'm gonna do better. That's what my chip on the shoulder was. Average in the combine was 17 for a running back. So getting 22, I was like, oh yeah, it was a big deal. I feel like the results working this far is great. I did everything I wanted to do. I showcased my ability very well, I believe. I caught the ball great, I ran great. I'm very pleased. I think about myself, I think about Walter Payton. We didn't get Division I school offers. We competed against some good talent and everything, and we had strong drives to go and prove that we could play at the next level with the big guys. For Terrell, wherever you put him in the country, just give him a chance. That guy will fall in love with his teammates, and he will give everything he can to his team, the city that he plays for. He's a professional, and he's, we've always known that since the first time he's come here. His focus and motivation is to help his team succeed. So what other colors you put on him, he's going to help that football team. My hopes for him is that I'd love to see him get an opportunity to play professionally. Because I know that his life message is going to be a message that's going to impact people. And any team that has him, 
is going to be awfully proud of him in a very short period of time. On that day of the draft, and my name got called up, it mean a lot. Not just a lot to me, but a lot to my school, a lot to my family, a lot to the people who love me. Just be able to show people that you could go to a D2 school and get looked at. I'm willing to work and do whatever it takes to be in someone's roster. It will be a big accomplishment getting my name called on draft day. I'll get to keep playing the game that I love to play.